This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, July the 24th. Wow, July is winding down. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Satellite image this morning shows that we do have a few clouds streaming across the Alabama sky, but that still looks like we're going to see a mixture of sun and clouds today with those daily afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms. On our surface map, high pressure is the pre prevailing feature over the southeastern United States, bulging in from the Atlantic, and that's keeping things rather warm in the upper atmosphere. We have a big ridge to our west that is going to be bulging over into the eastern part of the country, and that is keeping things rather warm. We still have that little weakness in the lower uh, Mississippi River Valley in the upper atmosphere there, and that is where we expect to see a few more showers and thunderstorms today. The uh, temperatures across the area this morning generally in the mid and upper 70s, just a little bit cooler up in the northeastern sections where Fort Payne's reporting a low of 68 this morning. On radar, we don't see much in the way of showers over Alabama, but we do have some showers in the vicinity of Memphis. Again, that's with that weakness at 500 millibars. And uh, the watch warning map is relatively clean this morning, but it does show a number of heat advisories. Those are the orange areas and then the uh, dark reddish areas are heat warnings. So uh, the upper ridge establishing a pretty uh, hot pattern over the central part of the United States. QPF wise, the quantitative precipitation forecast still showing a, a bit of a uh, an empty slot across the southeastern U.S. as we maintain this high pressure area and we only see some spotty showers, so it's not going to result in much in the way of uh, widespread rains. Storm Prediction Center for day one has a marginal risk ahead of that uh, main frontal system that's moving through the Great Lakes, uh, trailing back into the central plain states. No uh, slight risk areas on day two. Uh, the marginal risk is still ahead of that front as it moves into New England. And the tropics, uh, the Atlantic Basin remains rather quiet. The Eastern North Pacific is somewhat active with Hurricane Georgette and Tropical Storm Frank, neither of those uh, posing any threat to land. And I kind of overlooked it yesterday, but Tropical Storm Darby is uh, impacting the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, so uh, the weather in paradise is not quite so great. Darby bringing some wind as well as some heavy rain to the Hawaiian Islands. All right, let's get to the 06 c GFS model run this morning. And uh, there's a look at the ridge over the uh, southern tier of the United States with that little bit of a weakness over the lower Mississippi River Valley. And again, the GFS picking up on that, that there'll probably be some more showers, a little bit more coverage uh, to our west. And for us, just isolated showers and thunderstorms. That uh, weakness uh, begins to disappear. And notice that we do see on Monday a couple of traveling weather systems uh, that are helping to keep the ridge in check. On uh, Tuesday, uh, we noticed that the ridge is now in two centers, one over the Four Corners area and one just off the South Carolina coast, in the, uh, off the southeast coast of the U.S. But by Wednesday, the one over the uh, southeast U.S. coast has bulged back into the southeastern U.S. So uh, once again, the ridge maintaining itself over our area, and that just keeps us in those isolated showers. Now, from Wednesday through Thursday, we noticed that uh, there's a little more digging to the troughiness uh, as these uh, traveling weather systems come across the northern tier of the United States. And so on Wednesday and into Thursday, we begin to see the ridge being forced back out into the Atlantic, especially on Thursday. We see that same thing on Friday as we get a little bit more troughiness. Now, the GFS may be overdoing it just a little bit. The GFS is even suggesting that we may see a front come all the way down into um, the, the state of Tennessee. Uh, so that's going to actually help probably for the latter part of the week with the troughiness, help to create additional showers and thunderstorms, um, at least make them a little bit more numerous. For Saturday, we see the troughiness is in place, and that troughiness continues into Sunday. Uh, so once again, it looks like showers could be fairly scattered, and uh, we may, through the weekend, see a few more showers and thunderstorms thanks to the overall troughiness. Now, we get out into voodoo country, and uh, the GFS builds the ridge back in from the west pretty uh, quickly. Between Sunday and Wednesday, the 3rd of August, we see the ridge build back in, but we have a little surprise. Look at what's happening down just uh, north of the Bahamas. 
The GFS is suggesting that we may see something tropical develop in the Bahamas and begin to move to the north. Now, by the time we get out to Friday, it's bringing a system into the Carolinas from the south, bringing it northward and pushing that ridge back to the uh, west a little bit. And then by the time you reach the end of the period, 372 hours, uh, that's the 8th of August, the ridge is bulging back into the central plains in the central U.S., and the tropical weather system is moving on out. Will this happen? Uh, I don't know. By the time James Spann is back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning, the tropical system may be a figment of our imagination. We'll have to wait and see, but you know how it is in voodoo country. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Uh, as I mentioned, James will be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I will have your next one on Thursday morning as James is going to skip the country once again and take some more vacation time. I mean, meteorologist Brian Peters, thanks for tuning into the weather blog. I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed.